Remember this beautiful Model S plaid that I called trashed? I wrapped it in this matte gray vinyl. Well, it's back. Let me tell you why. It's not good news. You actually might see some of the damage right now. He actually picked this up for me last Monday and Tuesday morning, he was getting breakfast for his kids and someone hit him pulling into the parking lot. He did not do this, but uh, a truck hit him and scraped down the side. I'm gonna make these, the sensors still work. The vinyl did its job and it looks like his, all the damage is in the vinyl, except up here. There's a little bit up here, so I have to replace this bumper and this quarter panel. Yes, it, he had it for a day and someone hit him. He didn't have to hit anything. Tesla did replace the rocker panel. This is unpainted, uh, comes black like this from Tesla. They didn't order the rubber piece down there, so they're reordering that piece, but I'm gonna be able to wrap this and it'll match everything. So he was supposed to drop the car off to me Thursday. I ordered the material for the bumpers. I can get two bumpers out of the full 10 foot piece. So I had extra just in case later on in the future, I was gonna save it for him. At the time, I didn't know about the quarter panel, but I do have a big enough piece for that. He was supposed to drop it off to me Thursday. I didn't get a call from him. I texted him a couple times and it was the blue bubble changed to a green bubble. So I knew something happened. Either he got called into work or something like that, but he told me his phone got uh, pushed in the water. I don't know if it, if it fell in the lake or something. He finally got a hold of me the next day and said, you're never gonna believe this. I was at Starbucks, parked far away because I told him to park far away from everybody because everybody people don't care about other people's stuff anymore. So. He was parked far away and someone backed into him. Front bumper. She tried to run, so they call, called the police, got the police involved. The damage is right here and there's a chip right here out of the vinyl and this looks like it got pulled down. Uh, luckily, I ordered the piece and it will work for both bumpers. So uh, I have the material for this. Uh, and also luckily nothing was cracked he didn't crack a, a fog light or a headlight uh, plus all the other dust is pollen this is pollen season in north carolina and if you have allergies uh, you hate it so i'm gonna let that sit in the sun let the glue soften up so i can pull the vinyl off of everything clean up the car pull it in the garage and we're gonna wrap those today uh into tomorrow it's probably gonna take me till tomorrow afternoon this is sunday by the way and it's already noon busy weekend really good customer so far <laughs> Give me a lot of work. <laughs> so we're in the garage now. I got all the vinyl off. Let me show you the damage. And a lot of people say, you know, I'd rather PPF the car because vinyl doesn't really protect it. But let me show you something. Got his car charging because it was pretty low. But right here, I'm not sure if you can see too well, but this is really the glue from the vinyl. I'm able to rub that off and with a little bit of alcohol, all that'll come off and there'd be no scratches. So the vinyl protected the paint because if there was no vinyl on here, he would have gouges here and that would have to be filled and everything and this would be a bumper replacement and all a bunch of stuff. There is a little dent here, but you didn't notice it with the vinyl. So vinyl, this matte vinyl actually protects it quite well. This will come off as well. This up front, the same thing. This will rub right off. And where I can't even, I think it was right here. This will pop back up into place. And the great thing is, since the, the this piece is put on over top of the inlays, I don't have to redo the inlays, which is a big time saver. And I like the fact that I do this separately. Um, even though this is on top of this, I'm able to clean this up a little bit. I'll trim this and then this piece will fit over top of that right now and it'll look really nice. I, that way I don't have to redo this at all. So this will help out tremendously for time's sake. And I just put that inside there so I don't lose it. And that's already done too. So front bumper shouldn't be that bad. I moved the car far enough over. I'm gonna clean this rocker panel, do that. Do the front bumper, move the car forward just a little bit, then do the bumper and this quarter panel, and then I'll take it back to him tomorrow. And I'll probably clean off all the uh, pollen off the car. So since you already saw the video of me wrapping it, or if you haven't, click the link down below or up in the corner here, and you can watch me wrap it. That way I don't have to film this. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. So what I had to do was replace the vinyl on the bumper, and it was just the vinyl took the, the beading. I had to replace this piece, because uh, that had a little bit. There is a little dent here, but you really can't see it in this mat because it's right on the seam. Uh, the front bumper was fixed. There is a small crease here. Uh, 
honestly you don't really see it too much but i wasn't able to get this back up into place this popped out a little bit and i, I just pushed this back in it, it just popped um it just popped out and it wasn't that big of a deal but i replaced the whole vinyl on the front bumper and it looks really good it looks just like it was when he picked it up last monday and it is monday now so he's pick, he's gonna pick it up on monday again so within a week two uh people hit him and uh hopefully no more happens gotta write an invoice for the front bumper because that's gonna be insurance claim because she tried to run I tried looking for the footage, so I got permission to look for it, but I couldn't find it, but that's not a big deal. Because there was a burger place across the street that he got the footage from, so I'm gonna write up an invoice for the front bumper replacement, or the vinyl replacement, removing and replacing the vinyl here, and fixing a couple things there. So yes, bad things can happen to your car, but you know sometimes you get lucky enough that you can uh, use vinyl and protect your car. A lot of people ask me all the time, should I get PPF or vinyl? Well, vinyl is not as protective as PPF, obviously, but, because, I mean, PPF is very thick, but that PPF is very expensive as well. Vinyl does protect. There was no scratches on the bumper at all. Pretty impressive. And this was thinner vinyl. Thicker vinyl, I think, would have protected even more. So, I say vinyl. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. It's a short little video. But, uh, as always, stay awesome, stay positive, and stay away from accidents.